Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. We are going to look at a stock that we accidentally stumbled upon. I was creating a scanner video and I clicked my Apple, buying Apple at $16, what type of stock she would get. And there was one stock and I looked at it and I was like, whoa, is this the real deal? So we're gonna go back to that stock, which you can just watch me on the screen. And we're gonna see if this stock could be like buying Apple at $16. Again, Apple, and that was pre-split. Apple is now 165, 170, I don't know. So uh, we are here, we're gonna look at my $16 Apple scan. And you can see there's only one company that meets all this criteria, the same criteria that Apple had when it was $16. And you can see the price to earnings is a 6.74, meaning it is cheap. So what are we going to do? We're going to review it. This is Diana Shipping Inc. I don't know much about shipping companies or shippers. Um, I think they're going to be around for quite a long time. Um, let's look at the bigger picture. Let's throw on some Burt's Bees chapstick. Burt's Bees, not a sponsor. All right, uh, we have the full chart here. The stock used to be, well, let's, let's see, $40, okay, and it's now 295. Why on earth is it that low? We're gonna see if the stock has done any splits as well, because I wanna know if they've done any reverse splits. So, so we'll do that in just a moment. Um, money flow, look at that off the table, just boom, downward. Relative momentum on the way down. Momentum looks very, looks like it's coming back up actually. It's curling. And the strength is on its way down, but kind of leveling off around 44 right now. Okay, so we want to enter DSX, get split history, all right. All right, while well, that's doing its thing in the background, <clears throat> this is a profitable, Profitable shipping company. You can see it's 44 million income. They offer a very high dividend. I wish, I think they should get rid of that. Uh, okay, we have insider ownership. Look at this sales, that's positive. Shares outstanding, it looks like they are diluting. Um, EPS is positive, but kind of on the way down. Let's look at this year's guidance. Um, February 23rd. All right, so let's see what's going on. Uh, this stock hasn't had any splits. It's had no splits and we're behind this paywall really quick. Let me see if I can just make it go away. I am not hacking the website. I am just removing components of it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so if you would have invested $10,000, it would now be worth $3,471. All right, well, good thing we did not, but should we? Let's see what they've got for Q4. Oh, they sold one of their capsized dry bulk vessels, okay. Wait, they had net income of nine point. Oh, that's net income. Okay. So we got profitable time chart revenues. They were down last compared to last year. Net income for 2023 is. Ooh. So it was down. Uh, 
Okay, so Okay, so a lot of information here. Um, no guidance, unfortunately. Let's see. Let's see if these two other articles give us some type of guidance. Zach's articles suck, but let's see if they... So they're expecting 29% for 2024. So their their EPS is actually going to go down by the end of 2024, which is not good. Another Zach's article. Damn. Okay. So EPS is expected to be 29 cents at the end of the year. That's a change of 43 per, 43 cents EPS. Um, they are going to get extra sale revenue because of they are, they are selling the Houston ship. Um, let's run the numbers on this one and see what we get. Cause I don't know if this makes sense for us to buy right now, even though it is on the Apple scan. I like taking risks, but let's just, let's just run the numbers. They make 262 million, 100,000. Plus they have 44 million, 80,000 in income, 44 million, yep. Uh, okay, let's add in the cash and remove the debt. They have 162 million cash, which is the highest they've ever had, which is good. So plus 162, 320,000. Total debt, yeah, 584,000. Let's Yeah. So running my calculation, we're going to do minus 584,000, 584 million, 40,000. So that gives us a negative number, which breaks our calculation. So I don't think this is like buying Apple at 16, although if a few numbers were different, possibly. Um, their debt is going down. Liabilities are kind of the same. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cheap, but I think it'll go get cheaper because that debt is crazy. Earnings per share is going down by the end of the year. I just can't justify owning right now. Uh, let's see what institutions and hedge funds are doing. Uh, old data shows that they own 11%. I'm going to say it's probably around that same because that's 11%. So the same exact, it's, you can see a little bump there, but no Vanguard, no BlackRock and top owners. Both of these companies have increased their positions. Goldman Sachs has a small position. A lot of green, though. We're seeing a lot of buys. Let's see. Does Vanguard... Vanguard does not have a position in this one. What about BlackRock? BlackRock has 1,000 shares. So even the bigs, Vanguard and BlackRock, are skeptical of this one. I'm a bit skeptical at the moment. If things could turn around, I would say give her the dividend and just put that money back in the business, honestly. Um, it says insiders are buying, but the data is not available down here. Let's change this to routers. Still no data down here. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. This is going to be a pass, unfortunately, but it was a good thing to um, good thing to review. Don't always trust that stocks that show up on your screener are are keepers. I do. It looks like I did have two Apple 
$16 scans. Let's see if, oh, that's portfolio. The P is portfolio. So, okay, uh, that was our little Apple scan. No real, let's see if we tweak something really quick. What could we comfortably tweak to get more? I don't know if I would. I would keep I would keep this how it is and just check up on it regularly, but uh, this company could be decent in the future, but as of right now, pass. If you made it this far, consider subscribing. Hit the like button, leave a comment. Tell me if there's any stocks you want me to review. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.